can't do that, chums. Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the view of uh, something a little bit different. This is not a No Man's Sky video. No, this is DKO Divine Knockout, and it's uh, free to play, and it was on the PlayStation Network monthly free games. But I think it's free anyway, from what I gather. I'm not 100% sure, but yes, it's one of these online-y type beat-em-up games. A bit like Brawler Hauler. Now, this is going to be my first impressions in a mini-review, and I'm just going to compare it to Brawler Hauler towards the end, in where I think it's as good as, if not better than, Brawler Hauler. So first off, this is the tutorial that I'm in at the moment. Don't worry, I'm going to speed up the footage as I'm going through it. But what I would say is the graphical art style is lovely. It's, it's really quite nice. And it actually feels quite smooth to play and very responsive to button presses. So it actually handles quite nice. I really like the controls. I didn't feel too much haptic feedback, but what I did feel was was on point. It was good. So I like the ability that you can dodge through objects. I like the double jump feature and getting back into the actual arena does take you the ability to double jump and use dodge to sort of like get across and back in. Or you can use some of your abilities to get you back inside of the arena. And the abilities seem to be pretty darn freaking epic. And I really like the voice of my character. Sounds a little bit like moi. Yeah, I will shut up later in this video and you can actually hear some of that anyway. But I'm gonna let you take a quick listen to some of this fight that that's going on right now so you can hear what it sounds like to play. So people, it, it sounds nice, it plays nice, it feels nice, but what does it actually feel like to actually play against other players? Because that was NPC controlled. Now, it looks like I've just claimed a load of extra characters. Maybe there might be more that you may have to unlock using real life money, as I don't know. But one of these sort of games, it's kind of expected, isn't it, really? I mean, if it's free to play, then you're gonna be paying for additional characters or cosmetics or looks and feels. Anyway, I've gone for King Arthur, because yes, I just done the tutorial with King Arthur, so I kind of loosely know the controls and how to use him so here we go king arthur locked in and yes it does all the matchmaking which is pretty darn sweet and i'm hoping it matchmakes with people of equal ability you can see here i haven't even been ranked yet there's two on the opposite team that haven't been ranked in the same boat as me i think my team is slightly better stacked to be honest because they both had badges but here we go it, it seems to be fairly even and on how it's dished out there's me i guess there i go sword in hand and fight and yeah I like the arenas as well. So the second arena we go on has actually got lava pits on and stuff. You can knock each other into the lava. It's got all these sort of like one of those guillotine things that swing backwards and forwards as well. It's got spikes that come out of the ground. Um, and the third, the third tower that we go on has got a big boulder that rolls down in the Anna Jones style and crushes you and things. I'm liking all the abilities, the L1, R1 abilities that are on cooldown at the bottom. They all feel like they, they fit to the character that I'm playing, King Arthur, which is pretty nice. So yeah, I'm comparing this to Brawler Hauler because I can't really compare it to Smash Brothers because that's on a completely different platform. It's not as good as Smash Brothers, but it's I think this is better. Better than Brawler Hauler. And I enjoyed Brawler Hauler. I still play it every now and again, but it's, it's a rarity. I usually play it if my nieces and nephews come over and things like that, you know? But this, this I think they're going to like a lot more than that. Yes. There's another game we play called Spelunky. And that's really good too. It's almost similar if you play the versus mode. It's really funny. But I think we're going to love this if I'm playing this with my nieces and nephews and things. Apart from I don't see much local play there, but you know, I have only used a couple of the game modes there's a one-on-one -on -one mode that i haven't tried as yet because i don't think i'm good enough but maybe that's one i might be able to do locally i don't know but anyway it seems great i'm really enjoying it yeah because locally i don't know whether there's a split screen or anything like that and, you know with with brawler hauler you can have the two players on the same screen because it zooms in and out i don't know whether this does this yet so although i've said it's better than brawler hauler i don't know whether it is when it comes to local area play if you've got two people in the same room with two joypads 
haven't tested it. So if that's what you're playing it for, Brawler Hauler might still win, I can't say. I haven't managed to try that yet. This is just the first impressions. But playing it solo as a singular player, remotely, freaking great fun, really is. And the actual hard hits actually feel like you're doing hard hits. The combos just sort of flow in nicely together. It's actually a really fun, nice game to play and looks nice as well. But anyways, I'm going to be quiet for a while and you might see myself get knocked out of the arena in a bit. When I get knocked out of the arena, it, it, it says stuff like um, little mini sayings and things. And I really like the sayings. I want to get knocked out of the arena more so I can hear more of them. It's really cool. DLC. Once more unto the breach, dear yep. friends. See what I mean? Freaking charming. Really enjoyed playing this game, mainly because the characters feel quite vibrant, quite alive. The arenas themselves, again, quite vibrant, quite alive. Look at that giant boulder! See what I mean? It crushes people and stuff. I like the abilities and I actually really like everything about this game. If I had to score this, I'd score it relatively highly. It's highly playable, pretty addictive, and great fun. And I think younger audiences are probably going to really enjoy this. I'm probably going to give it, I'll probably give it a solid like 8.5 out of 10. It's really quite cool. But I haven't experienced microtransactions. I haven't tried local play. So it might go up or down a bit, depending on whether the microtransactions or play to win comes in as a factor. But yeah, from first impressions, an 8.5. I definitely want to play it some more and give it more of a chance. So yeah, I think this has got legs. I think this might have a future as far as when it comes to sort of like little playable brawler type games. And freaking awesome. So yeah, it's free. Give it a try. Well, at least it is on PSN right now. Don't know about other platforms and all that sort of shenanigans. I don't even know whether it's got crossplay at this point because I haven't done any research. Anyway, our team won there, so we won all three freaking matches. We completely leveled the playing field with them. And what I like at the end, it actually gives you a little sort of breakdown on how well you've done. I like the progress bar. I like to see how well you've done all that sort of shenanigans. Gives you XP, so I'd imagine maybe you might be able to unlock stuff or level up stuff. I don't know. I have no idea. First impressions yet again. But there we go. Level one. Brilliant day. And you can see here, I got five knockouts and only got knocked out myself twice and I've done three assists. So not so bad. I mean, yeah, I'm still bottom of my trio. Trio. But I still think I've done quite well for my first play of this game. Heck yes. Until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Give this one a try. I think you would like it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.